Hey there, welcome back to my channel Code Canvas. In this video, we will see one more JavaScript exercise. We will rotate a string from left to right. Let's say we have one string called Code Canvas and we want to rotate from left to right. So for that, we have to write down some JavaScript. Let's say we have one span for this text. We need to target this text. So we need one span. You can use paragraph. Apart from that, you can use one button and click me to rotate. And we have class called button. When you click on this, this text should move from left to right. So for that, we need one JavaScript function. Let's create one function, constant, function name you can give net string okay. and function. And write down uh, the target argument. Okay, so here let's call this function. To call this, we need to use on click event. Okay, on click and do give some target here we need to target this so let's give target id and pass this id on click okay this function is fine let's check if function is getting called this function is called on click this button okay so first of all we need to use we need to get this element for that we can get element is equal to document dot get element by id and id will be the argument let's control this and see what we get here let's open console here we get this element okay so this is an html we need text for that we can use javascript or we can use a jquery library as well here we will use core javascript so text node is equal to element dot child nodes of zero here we need to assume that this button is next to this span and we don't have any other children here otherwise it won't work as expected let's see yes we get this text right and to actually receive this get this text we can get text is equal to text node dot data and we are getting this text so we need to rotate this text okay for that what we can do we can write down text is equal to text of text dot length okay that will return the length of this string minus one what we are getting here Let's see get the last character this one okay so this is fine also we need text dot substring is a function in substring the first parameter is zero text dot 
10 minus 1. Let's see what we get here. Substring is not a function. Okay. Okay. There is a syntax error. It should be this. Okay. So, as you can see, we are getting code Canva, not S, because we are finding substring text.len minus 1. It will return all characters except last one. So, this is fine. So, what we have to do, we have to use this plus this. Okay. And let's see what we get. Done. We get S and code Canva. So, we got this last letter at the first place and rest of the string. Now, what we will do? We will use text node dot data is equal to text that we can. Okay. So, when we click, yep, it's working fine as expected. But what we have to do, we have to click every time you click on this button. To make this functional, what we can do here, we can call set interval function and in set interval function, we can pass a value that at which time you want to call this function in interval. Okay, so in this second argument, you can pass 100 let's see on click as you can see to make it look better let's give one space here so you can see the difference this is a little bit faster so let's see yep this is fine so now you can see this string is rotating from left to right using JavaScript. So let's see this function again. Here, document dot get element by ID returns a reference to the element by its ID. The ID is a string which can be used to identify the element. It can be established using the ID element in the HTML or from script. Okay, element dot child nodes of zero will produce the same result as the HTML content of the first child node. Text.length here. Text.length. This property will re represent the length of the string. So, it returns the number of characters in this string. So, this is very simple and easy to use function when you, you want to rotate any string from left to right in JavaScript. I hope you like this video. If you are new, please subscribe to my channel and keep supporting. See you next time around. Thank you.